Scribes Creative Workshop presents... Happy Land! Featuring Pappy Druid in his house! Did you ever want to paint? Did you ever want to draw? Did you ever want to recreate anything at all? Well, now you can in Pappy Land. That's where we are today. Where anything can happen. Cause Pappy Druid Hi everyone, on my way back to the cabin, I spotted Mailbird coming in for a special <laughs> delivery. Brock Mailbird here. We guessed that, you postal menace. When are you going to learn how to fly? You almost knocked me off my chair. You're right, Elmer. I must do a better job. Next time, I will knock you off your chair. Brock! Hey, Pappy, he's picking on me. Cool it, fellas. You're both being nasty to each other. And being polite is the way we do things here in Pappy Land. You're right, Pappy. Sorry, Elma. Okay, you're right, Pappy. Sorry. <laughs> now, Mailbird, uh, you must have something very special to deliver if you flew here so quickly. I sure do, Pappy. <laughs> I have a very special letter for you. Uh, for me? Uh, let's have it. Okay, Pappy. Here's your letter. The letter B. Gosh. <laughs> I didn't expect a letter from the alphabet. It is a fine letter, isn't it, Pappy? It sure well, is. gotta fly. Bye. So long, Mailbird. <laughs> well, I'll be. Speaking of B, would you be kind enough to water you? Yeah. Of course, Lily. Thank you. Hey, the letter B is the first letter of my name. That's right, Binky. And it's the first letter of my name, too. That's true, too, Belle. Do you hear that? It can only be... Doodle Bug here! <laughs> and my name begins with the letter B, too. No, Doodle Bug. Your name starts with the letter D. What? Oh. <laughs> if your name started with the letter B, you'd be called Boodle Bug. Bug. That's right. Yuck! I'm on it here! <laughs> How about you, boys and girls? I see lots of you have names that start with the letter B, too. Hi, Brenda, and Bobby, and Brittany, and Barbara, Billy, Bryce, and Bridget, and Brandon, and you too, Bruce and Ben. I see you, Betty and Brandy, and I see all the rest of you, too. Even you, Barney. Are you ready to draw using letters from the alphabet? I don't know, Druid. Wouldn't it be easier if we used our crayons or markers? <laughs> or a brush. No, no. We're going to make a drawing out of letters from the alphabet. For example, let's look at the letter B for a start. Now, let's see what we can draw out of the letter B. All right. I see something I can make out of the letter B right now, but I'm sure a lot of you see something different. Watch what I make out of my letter B. I'll bring this around and like that. Hmm. Okay. And I'll bring this back around. And it's almost like making the letter B backwards. Hmm. Have you guessed what it is? All right, I'll keep drawing. Okay, look at that, and another circle there, and a little smile. Can you guess what it is, boys and girls? Did somebody say a butterfly? Good guess. Look at that. There, we'll bring that around. These are the butterfly's wings, and we'll bring that around. 
bring that around like that. Yes. I'm going to put some little circles on the wings like that. Another one there and right there. And you could put any kind of design on your, your butterfly. If you're following along with Pappy, you can just about do anything you'd like. If you're drawing a butterfly, feel free to put different designs on the wings. You could put stripes or whatever. Okay, I think I'll just put a line there and another curve line right there. That way we can color in later on. If you'd like, when you color your butterfly, you can color all these different areas a different color. Now I'm going to put the antenna on our butterfly like that. And let's just put a couple of little legs coming out like that. There we go. That was fun. I made a butterfly out of my letter B. Wow, Pappy, that was excellent. It's beautiful. And it moves, too. Good. Let's follow that butterfly into the pad for a great alphabet drawing adventure. Looks like a job for the Pappy Pad Express. You're right, Pinky. Okay, boys and girls, you remember how this works? Okay, first we turn the switch on. Then I put the marker to the pad and help me count down. Five, four, three, two, one, contact. Look, Pappy's in the pad. Awesome. Hi, Bink. Hi, everyone. Let's get drawing. We're surrounded by letters from the alphabet. Let's see what we can do with them. Did you say C? <laughs> That's me. Oh, hi, little guy. Can I draw you into something? OK. Pencil shrink. Awesome. Hmm, what could the letter C be? Hmm, some of you say it looks like a ball. That's right. Or it could be a, a wheel. Hmm. Or it could be the beginning of somebody's face, like a cartoon face. Watch what Pappy draws. Here we go. I'll bring this line up here. And bring that over. And bring that down. OK. Looks kind of silly now, doesn't it? <laughs> All right, I'm going to put a circle or looks like the letter O, doesn't it? And another little circle in here. OK. Hmm. I'm going to put the letter C. It looks like the letter C, doesn't it? of you have already guessed what this could be. I like that. You're using your imagination. Okay. <laughs> hmm. And I wonder if we should put a little eyebrow there. Throw that in. Alrighty. Now I think I'll Now I'm sure you know what this little guy is. <laughs> okay. There we go. Very good. Wasn't that fun making something out of the letter C? See everyone? I'm a fish. Thanks, Pappy. You're welcome. I guess you can call yourself a fish from the sea, right? <laughs> right. Boys and girls, later on, you can try making a different picture out of the letter C. Oh, look, there's the butterfly we drew. Hmm, 
What's the next letter we should make something out of? Hmm. I have an excellent choice for you, Pappy. Me. You aren't lying, letter X. At least not yet. Watch. OK, what do you see, boys and girls, out of the letter X? I see something. It could be legs to a table or part of a teepee. But watch what I make from the letter X. Here we go. And there. Starting to look like something, isn't it, boys and girls? Let's just... <laughs> Can you guess what it is? Not yet? Okay. Keep watching. Now do you see what it could be? <laughs> and another little Ooh. All righty. Let's bring this. Right. A lot of you've guessed already. We'll put a dot there, and a dot there, and a dot there, and a dot there, like that. Okay. Whiskers. There. Now you're a lion. Wow. Thanks, Pappy. Hey, Pappy. It's me, Chucky. And the me, Tataloo. What's he doing, doing in there? there? Hi, fellas. I'm just drawing using letters from the alphabet. Wouldn't it be easier if you used your crayons and markers? Mm -hmm. <laughs> no, fellas. I'm going to make something out. Oh, never mind. Come on into the pad with me. Ooh. Awesome! Uh, what about me, Pappy? Of course, buddy. Join us. All right. I'm ready. Wow. Hi, buddy. Hi, buddy. Hiya, fellas. Okay, fellas. Uh, let me show you how to use these letters from the alphabet to make different drawings. But I think we should draw to music. Yeah. That's a great idea, Pappy. Can I call for the song guy? Sure, Louie. Oh, sing the song. No, Louie. It's sing a song. Whatever, Chucky. <laughs> uh, let's just uh, make some music. Yeah. yeah. Hey there, buddy Chucky Turtle Lou. I got a rap, pap, pappy song for you. It's as simple as ABC to draw cartoons for you and me. Let's try it now with the letter A. See Buddy Bear make a clown to play. Now let's go over to Turtle Lou. He's making a lady from the letter U. Just one line here and one line there. And now there's a lady with funny hair. The next stop is with our friend Chucky. We all think he's real lucky. Chucky has the letter J, and he can make a dog today. Now look at Pappy. He's having fun drawing cartoons for everyone. He's got his pencil in the sky. He's drawing a cat from the letter Y. Let this be a lesson to you. Alphabet drawings are fun to do. Just look at a letter and make a line, and your cartoons will turn out fine. Go, Pappy. All right, now look at Pappy. He's having fun drawing cartoons for everyone. So thanks for the lesson. It's so much fun. Song is done. This song is done. This song is done. <laughs> 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 
Great song, Sam. Have fun drawing. I will, Pappy. See you next time. Okay, everyone. It's time to get back to the cabin. I'll just jump through this letter O. Whoa, radical, Druid. <laughs> time for you fellows to get out of there, too. Great Caesar salad. We're back. Thanks for the fun time, Pappy. Uh, see you later. You're welcome, buddy. So long. Look, Louie. Pappy's drawings are on the pad. They look like they need a coloring to me. Hey, Pappy. Yes. Can you color the butterfly, fish, and lion? Ah, uh, sure, Louie. I love the color. How about you, boys and girls? Would you like to color these pictures we drew? OK, then. Let's get to it. OK. Hmm, let's start out with the butterfly. And I'm, I'm using a bright yellow. And you can choose any color you'd like. My pappy's using a very bright sunshine yellow. There. Now I think I'll choose red. Did, did you choose a bright pink color? Oh, that was a good choice, Linda. Great. Very good. All right. That looks very nice. Now I'll come back down here and we'll color that lower portion of the wing, just like so. There. Butterflies have so much color on them, and they're all so different. And they go red and yellow. Very nice. I hope you enjoyed making pictures from these alphabet letters. I'll bet you can think of other pictures you can make from these very same letters. Send me your alphabet pictures, and I'll put them in the Hall of Frames. You might even see yours on one of the shows. <laughs> I'm going to finish the yellow part like that. And continue there. Now I'm going to choose this color for the butterfly's body. Very good. Hmm, how about green for these little polka dots? There we go. There. You can take your time. You don't have to go as fast as I do. All right, let's color in the, the line. And I'll start with his mane. That's his long hair. Just continue coloring like so. Very good. All right. Now, how about a different brown for his nose, top part of his nose? And we'll go to. Look at that. Wow. Very nice. And again, you can choose any color that you'd like. Choosing your own colors is what's, what's fun about coloring. You're in control, and you get to choose whatever color you wish. That's right. All righty. I think I use a little bit of yellow down here like that. A little orange here. Fun. Using different colors. There we go. That looks very nice. All right. Now I'm going to color the fish. Like so. There. Okay. There we go. Sometimes I get ideas for making drawings from numbers, too. And sometimes I'll even get ideas from 
different shapes like triangles, squares, and circles. I'll bet you do too. I know that Chucky and Louie love coloring. Oh, yes. I'll bet you're dying to use your new set of crayons, aren't you, Turtle Lou? Oh, that's the brochure, Pappy. Good. Don't forget to share them with, with Chucky. I sure will. <laughs> All righty. Yeah, that's kind of a nice color here. There we go. A little bit of a blue. And how about some, ooh, red lips. <laughs> There we go. And some green earth bubbles. There, I'm all finished with my coloring. I'm in the mood for coloring too. Do you mind if I share your crayons? No, Lou. In fact, why don't you and Chucky sit over there and color together? Great idea. Come on, Chucky. <laughs> Can I see how you're doing, girls and boys? Wow, that's great. Hey, Pap, knock, knock. Uh, who's there? The Hall of Frames. Uh, the Hall of Frames who? No, the Hall of Frames you. It's time <laughs> for you to visit the Hall of Frames. I think you're right, Elmer. Let's go, girls and boys. <laughs> Look at all these great pictures. I think all of you deserve an A for effort. Great job. I love to get your drawings. If you like, send them to me, Peppy Drew It, at the address at the end of the show. Maybe you'll see your drawings in the Hall of Frames. Hey, Pappy, I think it's that time again. Oops, time to get back to the cabin. What? Jeez, my God. <laughs> that clock never ceases to amaze me. Me neither. It's quarter to orange already. Yep. Time of flies when you're drawing with letters from the alphabet. Wouldn't you rather use your crayons or markers to draw with? <laughs> well, it's time for me to go. Remember, boys and girls, when you use your imagination, you can make neat, funny drawings out of the letters of the alphabet. It's lots of fun. See you next time. Not so fierce, Drew Yeah, I got an adorable doodle for you from the letter D. Okay. And any letter that comes from the name Doodlebug is sure to stump you. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Doodlebug? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, the letter D is also the first letter of my name, Drew It. So oh. watch me make something out of this undoable doodle. Doubtful, okay. doubtful. Here we go. Yeah. I know I'm gonna. Yeah. No, 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 no. Yeah. Oh. 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 I wanna paint though. No fair teaching. There, doodle bug. A bird! <laughs> that starts with the letter B. <laughs> That's right. Boodle bug, now fly out of here. You stumped me this time, <laughs> Pappy, but I'll get you next time. We'll see about that. <laughs>
Oh, that doodlebug, he's one funny character. Well, it really is time for me to go now. Bye, everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye, Joe. Hey, Dennis. So long, everybody. Look at the painting la, of la, my la, butterfly. La, 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 la. Did you ever want to paint? Did you ever want to draw? Did you ever want to recreate anything at all? Well, now you can in Happy Land. That's where we are today. Where anything can happen. Cause happy do it that way. Happy, happy do it. We do Happy Land. And you. Pencil and paper? I hope so, because there's just enough time for a doodle line. That's when I draw a line or a shape, and you use your imagination to make it into whatever you want. All righty, just draw this shape with me now, and then make it into a picture later. Are you ready? Okay, then here goes. Whoa! I can't believe I did such a great letter O. I wonder what you can make out of the letter O. Okay, when you're done with your picture, if you want, you can send it to the address at the end of the show. I can't wait to see what you do with your original ideas. Bye! <laughs> Send your drawings to me, Pappy Druitt, P.O. Box 5004, Syracuse, New York, 13220. And don't forget to visit the Pappyland website for more fun. <laughs>